Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, I'm Jiao Lian Wan Ru. Today we're going to continue to talk about labor supply. Now notice that in the beginning of chapter 9, buying and selling, we learned that the value of our initial endowment has to be equal to the value of our final consumption. Here, omega 1 and omega 2 stand for the initial endowment of GU1 and GU2. And X1 and X2 stand for the final consumption of GU1 and GU2. And the value have to be equal. Now, in labor supply, we are going to treat leisure as our good one, something we like. And we're going to treat the consumption of cheese as um, good too. It's also something we like. Now, the initial endowment, we are given our bar hours, and we can choose to either enjoy the leisure or spend the time on work. So that's the initial endowment, our bar hours. And we're also endowed with C bar units of consumption, where P times C bar is equal to M. That's the uh, non-work income my parents gave me. So that's the initial endowment R bar and C bar. Now, what's the value of this endowment? So the value of R bar hours will be the wage rate times R bar. Why is that? Because I know for each hour, if I choose to work, I will get my wage rate. If I choose to spend the time on leisure, that means I have to give up the wage. So I know the price of my leisure is actually equal to the wage rate. And the price of cheese is P. So we know that the slope of the budget line here is equal to negative P1 over P2. Now what is P1? That is just my wage rate. That is the price of leisure. And P2 is just the price of cheese here. So it's just P. So that's the budget line slope, negative W over P. So my initial endowment is R bar hours, let's say 16 hours, and my initial consumption without work will be C bar. So that's my endowment. Now typically, I would go out and sell a few hours in order to get more consumption. So what I would do is that I will reduce my leisure hours, so leisure hour instead of R bar, is going to be reduced to R. So this number of hours I spend on working and this is my leisure hour. And because of that, I end up with more consumption. So instead of consuming only C bar units of cheese, I'm consuming C units of cheese. And that is my final choice. So the value of my final choice, W times R, that's the number of hours I spend on leisure, plus P times C, that's the final consumption of cheese, is equal to the value of my initial endowment. So I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.